Transitor, we welcome you ringside for a much anticipated bout. 36 minutes still ahead of him here, round one of 12. Teddy, this has the feeling of a fight that very much looks like it'll be a chess match. Yeah, this is a Bobby Fischer type fight, no doubt about that. It's a matter of who moves their pawn, and each guy doing a real careful job and a thoughtful job before they touch those pieces. Anderson's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Let's go, hit him. Teddy, I assume many times in your career, you were instructing a fighter that was going to face a fighter who just had the longer reach, flat out had it. What did you tell him? What did you try to cement in his head leading up to that fight? You know, sometimes you get caught up when you're fighting a fighter with those great, outstanding physical attributes like tallness and height, reach advantage. You start to think that only one way is the way to go. You got to force yourself to work your way in. I remind myself and I remind my fighter that you can step out and make the taller man give up his height. Walk him into traps. Off to the and yet another big shot comes in. And a big punch connects and floors him here in round one. And not what you expected. His opponent usually not a quick starter. So he goes down for the first time, but you can just get a sense that he's going to be okay. He doesn't look like he's that damaged. No, exactly, Joe. That was just a brush fire. But he doesn't want it to become a forest fire. So he's got to think in his head, why did I get caught? Nice block by bad intentions. Final 10 seconds of round number one. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Anderson. End of the round there, a round in which we did see the knockdown. And Teddy, when a fighter comes back to the corner, having just been floored, typically, how are they acting? What are you seeing out of them? Just imagine you just walked into a room and somebody hit you from behind. You dropped. You're afraid to go in that room again. So put a light on in that room and explain to him why he got dropped. He will not be afraid to go back in that room. Well, you could see what he wanted to do there, but unable to land that body shot. It's okay, pay him back. Move your feet. Tying up again here after being knocked down. What should his opponent be doing to deal with this? See, that's the right question. We're just looking at the guy grabbing. His opponent is allowing him to grab. You know, it takes two to tangle to do that dance. His opponent should be taking a step back, not letting him grab, and keeping his hands moving. Reaching the halfway mark of this round. Really good work right there, landing the two punches in sequence by bad intentions. able to land the headshot. Come on, baby. Come on. Now he ties up there. Keep working Takes a step back, then the counter punch by Anderson. Very similar to what you see Floyd Mayweather do. You know, make a miss, pull that shot. Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. This round comes to an end. A round in which this fighter threw a lot of punches, didn't land a lot of punches. I'll tell you, what advice can you give to him if you're the trainer? Well, first of all, deal with the psychological part. Joe, don't forget, 75% of this game is psychological. Don't let him get discouraged because even though he's not going to say nothing, in his head he's starting to get discouraged. Just say to him, hey, listen, you're going to catch him. Let's shorten him up a little bit. And you know what? He's moving his head, so go to the body. Because now you're going to hit him a little in the body because the body's not moving.
That straight right unable to connect. Bad intentions, his blocking ability is doing well for him there. Well, he's got to be careful here, Teddy, because I know he was stunned earlier, and he wants to tie up, he wants to clinch. But at that moment where you go to clinch, you're creating an opening. Yeah, you are. Your opponent can take advantage of that. He can take a little step back, make you fall in, and then bang, 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 put you in even worse shape. You're doing what you're doing. to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Attaboy. Ten seconds remaining in this round. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Anderson. Bad intentions is up three zip on Teddy's scorecard, but obviously he's putting together a big lead here, having his man down. Yeah, his opponent keeps walking straight in, so he's catching him with straight punches, hard straight punches. Keep working the body. Anderson showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. unable to connect. Keep moving. Keep moving. Good shot to the head with that right hand. And coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Anderson. Nice jabs there by Anderson. Bad intentions is showing you a little defensive skill there. Able to move away from that punch. To the head he goes and lands well with the right hand left hook combo. Sound defense, good block that time by Anderson. Bad intentions is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but we learned how to get away from punches. Mm. This is technique that was taught to him. Now here's a perfect example of where you can actually see confidence growing in a fight. He was able to stun his man in that last round and you just get a sense that he's a bigger better fighter than he was before well, i agree with you joe you, it's the accumulation of damage that's starting to get to him right now tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark Anderson's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. Big shot there. And he goes down for a second time. Does he have enough this time to rise up and continue on? away worked again knockout victory for him ladies and gentlemen by knockout your winner Jens Anderson
that's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can